Hey everybody, in this video we're going to talk about air purifiers for eliminating mold. And the big thing to understand is that when we are talking about air filters, there's a huge difference in quality of them. And while they are helpful, they are not getting to the root of the problem. I'm Dr. Diane Mueller, I'm Lyman Mold Expert. And one of the big things that we want to make sure that you're very, very clear on here is having a filter and having clean air is essential but that being said just because you are cleaning the air does not mean you are eliminating the problem and if the problem and the mold is still there you will still be getting exposed now you can clean the air and lessen the exposure but if you are reacting to mold and mold is part of what is making you sick what I see time and time and time again in my clinical practice is that while things like good air purifiers can help, they are not enough to really make somebody feel better until you eliminate the problem. So they can be helpful. And certainly when the problem's eliminated, they become even more essential to keep the air clean and prevent a problem from coming back. But you absolutely want to take care of the root cause of the problem. Okay, so what are you looking into for a good air filter? So you're looking something for something that can filter down to 0 0.0003 micro micrometers in size as far as the particle size. And so you really want this small particle to not be able to make its way and bypass the filtration. So that's one thing. You want a combination of a filter that's going to be a really good HEPA filter also with a carbon VOC filter. So you want a kind of a multiple filtration system to really make sure you are doing a great job of cleaning the air. My favorite air purifier on the market, especially for its price point, is the Air Doctor. The Air Doctor has several different models and the different type of models are different price based upon how large of a room they will clean. So you want to consider, hey, how big is your space, different size, and it'll say on the Air Doctor website how large of a space it'll actually clean. And so you can do that. You can pick which Air Doctor you want based upon the size. If you are not in a place to really have enough air doctors to clean your whole house, what I recommend is buying what you can afford and moving that air doctor around every few days or every week to help to continue to clean different areas of your house. If that feels like too much to do, the best place if you only have one air doctor, if you only have one really good quality air purifier, put it in your bedroom. We spend more consistent time in our bedroom than probably any other room in the house. A lot of people would argue that they spend a lot of time maybe in their kitchen as well, but you sleep for hopefully close to eight hours in your bedroom consistently. So you're in there quite a bit of time, so that's gonna be the most consistent place to keep that air quality really, really, really up to par. So again, very important to have clean air. It's very good to have a good air purifier. And please make sure that you are not considering, hey, doing this instead of cleaning up the mold problem. Look at my other videos on this mold playlist. Read my other blogs because there's a lot of other information I have on cleaning your house, on keeping it mold free and how to do so. So I hope this has been helpful. Please do subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in another video.